We are back at the Motor Speedway with John Pappas, and if you just joined us, this was a transporter that John found in a ravine, and uh, they renovated it, and it was one that was used by Wilbur Shaw. Show us what we have here, John. Yeah, this is uh, downtown Indianapolis in 1946. It's a Maserati team. This is uh, world champion Luigi, Luigi Villaresi, Cotton Henning, famous mechanic in the truck, and a rail car. And this is how they used to do and it. That's the transporter. Yeah. That's cool. Now we're going to tell some more um, Wilbur Shaw stories. So, who better to tell those stories? Let's go over here. And that's Bill Shaw, his son. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And Dave. Donald Davidson. You were you were just nine when your dad passed and killed in a plane crash. True. Tell what what memories do you have? Um. Uh, dad was very uh, certain and dynamic and and a hudge, hub of such energy mm -hmm. that um, home was a great place to grow up. Mm -hmm. um, this place meant more to him than really maybe anything he felt that he owed to the Speedway. Uh, everything that he had become, and he could not stand the idea of it becoming a housing development. Right, and that's something that we talked about earlier. Um, Donald Davidson, it's just as a reminder, when um, Wilbur Shaw came here, but ultimately became president, yes. this place was going to be oh, it was torn down. Yes, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the general thinking was that it, as soon as the war was over, it would be raised and become a housing development. Mm -hmm. But he would have none of that, mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately found Tony Holman to, to save the place. But he was dynamic. And Dapper had come from very meager beginnings, but then also this incredible will to win. It was a case of uh, anything you can do, I can do better. Whether it was driving race cars, playing golf, uh, riding horses, or push-ups, yeah. or, or magic tricks, he had to be the best. He was one of those people who, I'm sorry for the cliche, he was bigger than life. You yes. can see when you see a photograph of him yes. that he was bigger than life. Yes. Yeah. And of course, just to wrap things up, it must mean a lot to you when you hear people like Donald talk about your dad. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. It warms my heart. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and talk more about the car, and I think I'm going to get a chance, that's what I'm told, to drive it. And if anything happens, you have another piece of trivia, Donald, <laughs> to add to your collection. Back to the studio. <laughs> that, oh, that one time Dick Wolfsey uh, crashed a Maserati on MS. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but he said drive it, too. I caught that. Because usually if you're in one of those classic cars, and yes, that is a remade version of yeah. it. But if you're in one of those cars, you're just the passenger. That's but, right. Uh, That'll be interesting to, check to see. Dick Wolfsey's life. Love those stories, though. Yeah. I love those stories. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm.